It's your future. Own it. The Burt Show on all the hits Q100. I mean, eventually what would have happened is we would have been like, wow, I have a wife, I have a family, yeah. I have a kid, I have mm-hmm. to get a job, and now I can't do this anymore. Yeah, it would have become our weekend gig as opposed yeah. to our, you know, like our friends. Uh, I know a lot of, a lot exactly of, exactly what I'm talking about. I know a lot of people were in that position who would, it's had to stop doing it. And that's got to be some of the reason why American Idol kind of takes you off so much also is like, it, it feels like it's a... Well, we have this it feels like a shortcut. The time. Like, in my opinion, I think like there is a certain side of the music business that has been become so corporate and it's it's just kind of like it just keeps generating the exact same thing over and over and over again. I think that exists uh, independently of an American Idol. You know, what I mean? like I think mm-hmm. that hat, and I think American Idol does play on that, and they use that in the capital. American Idol represents it, right? And, and I, just, I, I think it's going to exist anyway. And so, if it's going to exist, bring out some fat kids that can't sing it to entertain me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys go okay. on the show if and they you asked you? You don't have to be fat. This is my nightmare. Like if they you know said, it's my nightmare yeah. that, no, that we get asked that question. No, I, wouldn't, I won't. I've been asked, and I won't do it just because it's my own. You know, having my own little kind of fun with it is one thing, and being on it is an entirely different thing. But it is kind of like fun to think of the idea of like right at the beginning when they're doing the auditions, because you know, like you want to be there when they, when it really sucks, when it's yeah. really bad. You know, mm-hmm. just to be like, God, you are awful. Like that just thinks like. But, but from a business point of view, makes sense. Let's say you guys got a new single out, new CD out. Right. It's 40 million people who will see you perform. What are you going to say? I'm going to talk to us the next the next record we have. <laughs> <laughs> Would you seriously the think of the even, music, the even... The state of the music business, man, it might be the only time we can get somebody to hear it. And it's 40 million people. It is 40 million people. But you're betray- but you, you would in some way well, be know, selling here's out. The thing, here's the thing. If you can... There's, I would probably still say no. I mean, knowing me. Andrea, yeah. what would I say? Andrew, yeah, I mean, we've always Andrew kind of, from our label is sitting there. <laughs> we've knows always kind of had I'd this no. theory that like, if you're doing something that you're kind of worried about if people, if you want people to see you doing it or not... The idea of kind of coming in and going, hey, but, you know, 40 million people will see you doing it. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make it better. That kind of makes it worse. You know, like, mm-hmm. if you want to... Isn't, attract, isn't it mostly grandmothers us. that watch that show anyway? If you want to, if you want to attract no. us. And Rob. Oh, hell no. Really? Yeah. Grandma, grandmas and Rob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Howard Stern is obsessed with it. Is he really? Um, yeah. If you, uh, if you really want to want to attract us to it, you should you say, like, oh, you know, it's like local cable. Nobody's going to watch it. And we'll be like, oh, yeah, we'll do it then. It's no big deal. Do you think differently of bands that have gone on to American Idol? No, before? I think everyone makes their own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> you like that cough button, there, Rob, don't you? He's hitting it a lot, isn't it? You want to do it again? Right. Does it make you want to? I don't even know who's going on. I, I, I don't watch the show, so who's I, been on it? I, 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 I Maroon 5. It. Maroon 5 was on it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gwen Stefani. Sellouts. <laughs> Bono was on it. Yeah. yeah, but Bono was on it. That I do know. He was on. A, he was on a charity issue, right? Our charity uh, episode. It's not like he's going to be like. He didn't come on and Let's highlight sing with something. Without you. We have a charity. It's called the Care and Feeding of Our Children. <laughs> 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 Max Box Twenty on uh, Q100 and uh, the Burt Show this morning. I think the perception is that. Rob decided to have the solo career first. That he came to the band and said, "Look, guys, I'm going to go do my own thing." But that's not true, right? That's not true. No, it was actually me. You did. Yeah, you're the one. That Boy, started. was that a Paul dumb said, idea? Yeah, Paul, said, <laughs> <laughs> Paul decided I was going to have a solo career. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I decided Rob was going to have great success outside the band by saying that I wanted to do a solo record. <laughs> And one of the many great decisions I've made in our career. <laughs> so, Rob, when Paul came to you and he said, look, I want to go start doing some of my own things, at that point in your mind, were you like, okay, he's never coming back? No, I was thinking, God, cool, I can finally go on American Idol. <laughs> 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 well, you guys have said, like, there's this sense of... Um, I, Rob, I think it's your quote, a sense that somehow a band like us should be apologetic for making music for the masses. Is that where Exile on Mainstream comes from? Well, I think we draw on, like, on, on kind of uh, the way we felt early, early on in our career. That sense that we'd had all this success and somehow, you know, we were this main, we were, we were like representing, if you didn't like mainstream radio, we were kind of it. We were like what you, what you looked at is like why you didn't like it. And, um, and, and, you know, one day we just kind of turned around and we're like, well, I, we love our band. We think we're a great band, you know, and, it, and we just had to kind of find that, I think. Why do you think that that happens? Like when somebody follows a band, when the band is new and young, and then all of a sudden they become popular and they start actually making a living on it, and then everybody's like, oh, I don't like them anymore because they're like too cool or yeah, too I mean, popular. It happened, but it's happened since the beginning yeah. of recorded music. I mean, I, I, why is that? I, I think every, that because Mozart. that band becomes so overplayed that you're just like, if I hear that song one more time, mm. I'm going to blow my head off. I love what that Mozart, but he's been playing around way too much lately. <laughs> <laughs> they have that Australian saying. What was the saying that they used to tell us it was? Oh, I don't know. Tall Poppy? Was it? Tall Poppy? Tall Poppy. 
You don't what remember that? that? You completely lost your mind. No more coffee. <laughs> no, you don't remember that? You're stuck in right, 2007 with me right now. Poppy, poppy, poppy. Anyway. Anywho. Yeah. Anywho. There you go. We're going to let that question go. You know, I think I've said this before about you guys also when we did the uh, one-on-one with you guys. You guys are like a married couple talking to each other. The way you guys complete each other's <laughs> sentences and sort of get each other's jokes. I said, like I said that this couple. morning when we were cuddling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I just noticed there's a baby in here. Yeah, I it's didn't realize that my baby was coming in here today. <laughs> that's, my, that, that's my wife. And oh, it is? Yeah, who only visits when there are rock stars in studio. That's true. And oh, no, I'm starting no. to ca- I'm starting to catch the reoccurring no, theme no here. Oh my god, your wife is so much cuter than you. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely married up, bro. Thank but you. so did you. He's gonna get <laughs> he's gonna get some later from oh, that. No. <laughs> well, I just thought the ba- no one's seen the baby for a while, and this was just a bonus. Oh yeah, it just oh, happened to me the day that uh, Matchbox Twenty is in time. studio. Yeah, Look wow. Look at me getting all flustered for that <laughs> What a nice Hard coincidence. To embarrass me. Yeah. Oh. What is your baby's name? Do you want to hold him? Something? I don't know. I don't know. Is he going to freak out on me? I don't know. You know what? Why should you? I forget. Really? Yeah. I won't wash him after that. Right. It's not important information. Hello. I, I know it starts with an H. Smiling. There you go. It's Hollis. Hollis. Yes. yes. Is it really? Yeah. Hollis? That's a cool Hollis. Name. Like Thank queen, you. Like Hollis, like Hollis Queens? Queens? Yes, exactly. Whatever you say. They named the kid after. <laughs> they, they, they named the kid after the hood Bert rolls out of. <laughs> that baby smell. That baby smell. Dude, do you have the baby bug or what, man? Look at you. Hi. Hello. Hands What's off my baby. Who in the band has kids? Oh, open the door. Do. You open do? The door, Paul. So Me, he's over. I, I have, don't want to touch him. Kyle has kids. I have kids. Oh, and, and, and Rob does. Yeah, I have a nine-year-old son. Yeah, I have oh, a three-year-old oh. daughter. Oh, yeah. Stacy would like to know if you could hold her the same way and make the same <laughs> noises at her. I'm next. I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you got what's the baby the, thing. Look at you. What's the answer? I, am, I, am, I have a little baby craze going. I'm not going to lie. You ready to have kids? Yeah, I'm ready to take this one right now. Okay. He's very cute. Yeah. Thank you. He definitely looks like yeah. his mom, doesn't he? He yeah. is cute, isn't he? Have a good old time. <laughs> he <is so> <laughs> Yay. You're going to do an interview. Is it tough being on the road? Um, Atlanta's new shock jock. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is the first time I've had to do it. Because luckily I was off the first two, two and a half years of her life. So is, has this been brutal? Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's it's horrible. It is. Yeah. And but, even with your own buses, the families don't come along? No. Well, um, yeah, no, my wife hates to travel. She does. Well, she's like, yeah, you want me to get on the bus in the middle of like winter in Minnesota? Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> she yeah. comes from a music family, right? So yeah. she knows what this thing's yeah. about. She's like, yeah, yeah she, she's done with it. Yeah, she's complete. She was done with it before we met. Yeah, it's, there's nothing about it. Like, yeah, it's funny. All of our wives, it's it's not a like the the mystique of the rock <laughs> the rock thing has yeah. gone away. It used to be so cool, and now it's just a pain yeah. in the ass. Yeah, no, it was never cool for my wife. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 no. Well, because she grew no. up with it. Her dad yeah. is legendary. I've, you this. know, a lot of rock and roll hall of famer. Yeah, so she. Look, it's she the rock station Atlanta's been asking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take a couple of seconds here when we come back. Paul Doucette and Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20 hanging out with the Burt Show in studio. Big He's show tonight at Phillips Arena. eating the paper. Yeah. He's like a goat, man. That kid will eat anything he right now. rock. <laughs> Couches, cans. All right, Matchbox oh, he's 20. a non-ethnic male. He's eating it up. <laughs> he's already on the <laughs>